Plans for the Des Moines Buccaneers' new home are officially off. The hockey team has ended discussions to build its ice arena at Merle Hay Mall. KCCI's Ethan Humble joins us now. And Ethan, the mall is now working on a new plan? Uh, that's right, Ben Stacy. Derek Zarn from the city of Urbandale says the team told him last week it wouldn't be reaching a deal with the mall. But now the mall's leadership says it's going to file new plans for an ice arena without the Bucks. The deal for the new Bucks arena is officially off. Merle Hay Mall CEO Liz Holland says it's a tough situation. We, we were surprised and disappointed to hear it, but, you know, we're moving forward. The planned $40 million hockey arena was meant to hold 3,500 people for the team's games. But she says after several months of trying to negotiate a lease, the hockey team and mall couldn't reach an agreement. We were surprised. Uh, we had been negotiating a lease uh, since April. Um, we didn't, in our experience, believe that any of the terms that were being negotiated were insurmountable. It was supposed to fill the space of what was the Yonkers building before it closed in 2018. However, despite the deal falling through, Holland says she and the mall are still planning to file an updated application with the state for a new arena, this time without the Bucks. You know, the Bucks were going to occupy it 30 nights a year. We think that we can you know, meet that challenge. She says the new site would primarily be used as an ice skating rink, but could host concerts and other events too. Holland says it would be part of the growing sports and entertainment sector of the mall. Dink's Pickleball is doing phenomenally well, so we continue to believe that sports and entertainment are the way to go. And although the new project still needs approval, she's confident it's headed in the right direction. We're still exceedingly encouraged by what this will bring not just to the mall and the immediate trade area, what it will bring to the greater Des Moines marketplace, and we're just ready to move forward. Polk County Supervisor Robert Brownell represents the part of the county that includes the mall. He says it's both disappointing and frustrating that the hockey team has pulled out. Mall CEO Liz Holland says she hopes to file its amended plan with the state in the next few months. She says after approval, the construction of the arena would take about 18 months. We reached out to the Buccaneers president about the arena, but he said he has no comment. Stacy. Ethan, thank you.